Welcome to the greatest 3S YouTube channel. No, the greatest, the th greatest 3 no, what am I talking about? The greatest YouTube, YouTube channel. channel in the world, 3S Yoga. Just start again. <laughs> Action. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the greatest yoga YouTube channel in the world, 3S Yoga. That was a tongue twister for me. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a faster flow today, working on our inner thighs and our hips. It will be great. Whenever you're ready, let's get started. We're just going to start at the top of our mats. So just kind of take a moment here, really planting your feet into the ground, all four corners. Close your eyes, have your hands by your side. And just take a couple of moments to just kind of feel within yourself. Take a mental scan of your body from your head all the way down to your toes. Just kind of noticing where you are. Really feeling your feet grounded into the earth. Let your shoulders relax, your jaw relax. On your next inhale, rise the arms all the way toward the ceiling. Maybe nose can rise up, slight back bend if that feels good. On your exhale, bend your knees, torso drops down to your thighs, let everything go, just round it all down. Let your shoulders go, shake the head side to side if that feels good. On your inhale, just slowly roll all the way back up, one vertebrae at a time, all the way, take a deep inhale, rise the arms. Exhale, hands down to your heart. One more time, inhale, rise all the way. Really create space in the room you're in. On your exhale, bend your knees, draw your torso all the way down, right the way down. You can keep your knees bent here, or you can straighten your legs. Just draw the torso down, and your nose can look or directly towards your knees. Grab your elbows if that feels good, shake side to side, or anything that just kind of feels good for you in this moment. Try to bring your weight into your big toes, letting everything go. And just take one deep inhale on your exhale side out. On your next inhale, come halfway. Look forward, really rolling the shoulders back. On your exhale, plant the hands and just step back to a plank, holding here, really making sure your shoulders are above your wrists, really planting your fingertips into the ground. Belly draws into the back body to support your spine. Pressing away, shoulder blades away. Take an inhale here on your exhale. Push the body forward with your toes. Bend your elbows, melt halfway down here. Looking down towards the ground, holding for five, four, three, two, one. Press back up to plank. And then send the hips up and back, downward facing. Just take two deep inhales here, two deep exhales. Finding anything that feels good in your down dog, bending your knees, shaking your hips side to side, shaking your head, or bopping your head up and down. I like to bop my head. Nice, take an inhale here on your exhale, slowly roll back to plank, and then slowly press it back down dog. Just moving here three times, take an inhale on your exhale, roll all the way, plank. And then press it back to down dog. One more time. Slowly rolling one bit of it at a time, coming to plank. And then pressing it back to down dog. Take another inhale here. On your exhale, draw your knees down. Come to tabletop and just shake side to side. Kind of walking your hands back, shoulders above your wrists. And we're just gonna bring your right knee out towards the right side, kind of like the dog ping in a fire hydrant holding here. You can either bring it out 90 degrees or if you're too intense in your hip, you can draw it down to 45 degrees. And then stick your left arm out to the left side, holding here for a moment. Really drawing your belly into the back body, engaging your core. Take an inhale on your exhale, round your spine, elbow comes to your knee. 
On your inhale, come back out to the sides. Nice. Exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, out to the sides. Exhale, last time. Inhale, last time. Nice. Holding here, straighten that right leg, bring the right toes down. So our four corners of that right foot are planted. Bring the left hand down. And just take a moment, you can kind of roll around, bending that right knee. Just kind of opening up your hips, your inner thighs. Nice, come to a stillness whenever you're ready. And then tuck the back left toes. Sit all the way, kind of walking the hands back onto the left heel. You can draw your right foot up towards the ceiling if that feels good. You can walk your hands out in front of you and just get a nice inner thigh stretch in the right thigh. Kind of like a Spider-Man pose, as Nadia calls it, in 3S. Just take two deep inhales here, two deep exhales. And slowly, whenever you're ready, you can bend that right knee slightly so you're kind of not stretching that kneecap. Bend the knee and then just move forward, planting the left knee down, and then slowly drawing the right knee back in all fours tabletop. Just shake it out. And then just doing that same exact thing on the left side. So sticking that left leg out towards the side, like a dog peeing, right arm out towards the side. Holding here. And then take an inhale on your exhale, crunching in, elbow to knee, rounding your spine. Inhale, extending out towards the side. Nice, two more times. Really following your breath. On that last inhale, plant that left foot all the way down towards the ground on the left side. So all four corners are planted. Draw the right hand down. And again, just kind of make those circles with your body. You can bend that left knee, opening the hip joint. And then whenever you feel nice and juicy, come back to center, tuck the right toes, and walk the hands back as you slowly sit back onto your right heel. The left toes can lift up towards the ceiling if that feels good. You can either stay here with the hands planted, heart lifted, or you can walk the hands out in front of you, round the spine, chin draws to your chest. Breathe in, kind of directing your breath to the inner thigh on the left. Take one more deep inhale, one more deep exhale. And then slowly again, bend that left knee, crawl forward, draw the right knee down, then draw the left knee down and just shake it up side to side. And whenever you're ready, walk the hands a little bit forward, tuck the toes back, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a moment to bend the knees, shake your hips side to side. On your inhale, rise the right leg up towards the ceiling, three-legged dog, bend your right knee so the heel draws towards your left glute, but make sure your shoulders are square here. So draw your right shoulder down, left shoulder lifts. Nice, you can roll your ankle. On your inhale, extend the right leg. On your exhale, Draw your foot in between your hands. You're coming to a lunge. I'll just move to the other side so you can see. So from here, we're gonna come back to that Spider-Man pose. So kind of walk to the long side of your mat. Come onto the right heel, right toes into the ground. Left toes are lifted. So we're just gonna rock it side to side. If you've ever been to Nadia's 3S, you can do the Spider-Mans, feel like Spider-Man. So you can even either have your hands at your heart or hands into the ground, or just gonna rock it side to side. Try to stay as low as you can here. You can either lift your toes or just keep the foot planted. I find it more comfortable to keep the foot planted. Nice, one more time. And then you're gonna end on the right heel, so we're on the right side. Walk the hands back, so coming into a runner's lunge. And then look forward as you inhale. On your exhale, come to a standing split. So lift that back leg. Nose draws down to your knee. And then exhale, 
inhale, set the foot to meet the right foot. Forward fold. You can grab your elbows here, let anything go. On your inhale, just slowly roll one vertebrae at a time all the way up to standing. Rise your arms. And then exhale, hands down to your heart. <sighs> let it go. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold all the way back down. We're going to set the opposite leg back this time. So inhale, look forward. On your exhale, step the right foot back. So you're coming into a left lunge. Look forward. On your exhale, step that left foot all the way to a three-legged duck. So lift it all the way up into the air. So same thing on that left side. Bend the left knee. So your heel draws to your right glute. And roll the ankle. Draw the left shoulder down, right shoulder lifted. And whenever you feel good, lift that left foot into the air, straighten the leg, take an inhale. On your exhale, plant your foot in between your hands, coming into that runner's lunge, look forward. And then slowly walk to that long side of your back. So you're coming onto the left heel this time, into that Spider-Man pose. Right toes can lift if that feels good. And just rocking it side to side. Again, fingers can be into the mat like sticky fingers like Spider-Man, or hands can be at your heart. Really trying to keep your hips low to the ground, feeling that inner thigh stretch. Nice, you can move as fast as you want here or as slow. I'm not really watching you, so you can do what you want. Slowly, whenever you feel good, you're gonna end on that left heel. Plant the fingers down, and then slowly walk it back to that runner's lunge. Look forward as you inhale. On your exhale, lift that right leg in the air, standing split, or just an L shape, whatever feels better. Take a couple of breaths here. Feel the hamstring stretch in that left leg. And then as you exhale, plant the foot down. All fours, grab your forward uh, fold, grab your elbows. Shake it side to side. And inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing. Reach for the sky. And exhale, hands down to your heart. Side out. Take an inhale, rise. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, look forward. On your exhale, set the left foot back. So you're coming into a right low lunge. Look forward as you inhale. On your exhale, step the right leg all the way up to three-legged dog. Just take a moment to roll your ankle. On your exhale, draw your knee to your nose, rounding your spine, pressing away from the hand. Inhale, lifting the leg. Exhale, knee to your nose. Nice. Inhale, last time. Exhale, this time set the foot in between your hands. Look forward, come into that lunge. We're going to do the same thing, but a little bit faster. So come into that spider pose and just rock it side to side. It's kind of moving a little bit faster, following your breath. Whenever you're ready, come back to the right leg. Come into that runner's lunge. Look forward. On your exhale, lift that left leg. Keep a slight knee bend in that right knee. And then slowly draw that left foot down. On your inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing. And then exhale, hands down to your heart. Nice, awesome job. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, look forward. Exhale, step the right foot back, look forward as you inhale. Exhale, step the left foot all the way into that three-legged dog. You can roll the ankle. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, knee to your nose. Round your spine, press away with the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale, last time. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands, look forward. 
And then again, walk it to the long side of your mat, coming to those Spider-Man, just kind of rocking it side to side. I love 3S so much, I integrate it into my yoga classes now. Whenever you're ready, slowly come to the left side, walk it back to that lunge, look forward. On your exhale, lift that right leg, standing split. Whenever you're ready, step it down. Inhale, rise all the way back up to standing. And then exhale, hands down to your heart. Woo. Inhale, rise. Exhale, really hinge at your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, look forward. Exhale, set the left foot back, look forward as you inhale. Exhale, step it all the way just to downward facing dog. Take a moment to just shake it out side to side. Coming to a crescent lunge, bend the back knee slightly, lift your arms. You can either keep your arms lifted or just have them at your heart or at your hips. Again, kind of moving for you. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, draw the left knee down. You can either tap it down on the ground or just keep it hovered about one inch off the ground. Inhale, press it back up, high lunge or high crescent. Exhale, dipping that left knee down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, drop it down. Nice, three more, inhale. Exhale, feeling that strength in your left quad and your whole body. One more time. Nice, press it back up, take an inhale. On your exhale, plant the hands, lifting that back left leg, coming to a standing split. Really feeling that right hamstring stretch, keep a slight knee bend in the right knee. You can stay here, or you can move to warrior three, lifting the torso in line with the back leg, which are like a, a seesaw. Draw the left hip down, right hip lifts, so your hip bones are squared to the mat. You can have your hands at your heart, fingertips into the ground, or hands back behind you, or if you have blocks, you can use those as well. And just holding here. Take one last inhale. On your exhale, start to bend the right knee. So the toes or the left toes can draw down naturally. Grab the ground and then step it back. Down, dog. Take a moment to bend your knees, shake anything out. Shake your hips, shake your booty. On your inhale, rise the left leg. This time, same thing, left side. Take an inhale. On your exhale, set the foot in between your hands. Coming to your crescent lunge, rise your arms. Bend that back knee slightly. Maybe feeling a nice hip flexor stretch in your right hip flexor. Take an inhale here on your exhale, slowly draw that right knee down. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, inhale. Nice, just moving at your own breath. Three more of these, three more inhales, three more exhales. I always lose count. <laughs> on your last inhale, hold here. On your exhale, bring your fingertips down, lift that back leg, standing split. Nice, again, you can stay here, or you can come to warrior three, lifting your torso, slight knee bend in that left knee. Arms wherever you want them to be, holding here. Really trying to draw that right hip, left hip lifts. Feel that strength in your left leg, embrace knee shaking, like me. Take an inhale on your exhale, bend that left knee. So the right toes come down to the ground. Grabbing the ground with the hands and then step it back, down dog. And just take a moment to shake anything out you need to. Twisting side to side. Now 
Nice on your next inhale, bend both knees, look forward, separate hopper, jump, forward fold. Inhale, halfway, look forward. Exhale, take a deep fold to so get a nice hamstring stretch. On your inhale, roll one vertebrae at a time all the way back up to standing. Rise your arms, exhale, hands down to your heart. Nice, just take a moment to pause. On your inhale, rise your arms. On your exhale, bend your knees, let it all go. You can grab your elbows or just wrap all it up. Nice, on your inhale, one more time, rise all the way up to standing. Slight back bend if that feels good. And then the exhale, hands down to your heart. Nice, inhale, rise. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let it go, bend the knees, torso falls down. Shake it out. And then inhale, just straighten the legs, look forward. On your exhale, plant the hands, step it down to all fours. You can shake your hips side to side. Maybe do some rolls if that feels good. And then sit down on one side of your hip, doesn't matter which one. Bring the feet into the ground, knees up towards the ceiling, and just rock it side to side. Windshield, wash your knees. Noticing any sensations. And just bring your hands back behind you, fingertips facing your toes. On your inhale, lifting your hips up to reverse tabletop, trying to get your hips in line with your knees, your shoulders line with your hips. You can draw your head all the way back. If this doesn't feel too good, you can extend the feet to your reverse plank, whichever one you feel like doing. Just breathing into your heart. Take one last inhale. On your exhale, draw the hips down. Shake it out. And then just bring the feet together, knees open wide, grab your ankles. Take an inhale, lift your heart. On your exhale, draw your chin to your chest, roll the chest down forward. And just allow yourself to let go, feel a nice opening in the hips and your thighs. You can press your elbows into your thighs to feel even more stretching. And just slowing down, shaking the head side to side if that feels good. Just taking some deep inhales here, maybe even challenging your breath to inhale to a count of four. And exhale to a count of four or maybe to eight. Take a couple more inhales here. A couple more exhales. Really letting go. Unclenching your jaw, let your shoulders relax, forehead relax, mind relax. On your last inhale, slowly rolling up, starting with your low spine, moving one vertebrae at a time. Your shoulders are lifting, neck lifting, head coming up last, hair flipping back last. Just rising the arms, take one last inhale. And then exhale, let it go. Bring your knees, your hands on the outer edges of the knees. Draw the knees in together. You can windshield wash the knees if that feels really good. Any extra stretching is always welcome. And whenever you feel good, just cross your legs into yourself. And just take one last moment for you. You can have your hands on your knees or your thighs, either palms facing up, letting things in, or palms facing down, just feeling the warmth of your body. It's nice for fall time. And just kind of settling in, pausing in silence and stillness here for you. And then on your 
last inhale, let the arms float up all the way to the ceiling. Take a deep stretch in the spine, full breath through the whole body. Nose can rise up towards the ceiling as well. Take a slight back bend if that feels good. And then exhale, hands draw down to your heart. Keep your eyes so closed if that feels good. Just thanking yourself for showing up for you, feeling all that energy you created and all the stillness you created, knowing that God's always within you. Namaste.